This app allows you to remove objects, you know, fix blemishes, do line removal, clone stamps, as you can see here. So I'm going to give you different picture scenarios just to show you what the picture can do. With some of these, you can, you know, use certain items to accomplish, you know, the same goal. And so I'm going to show you how uh, I've learned, I guess, to use this for certain things first thing I want to show you is the object removal and as you see this young lady has a mold on her face and I'm gonna simply just use the brush from the object removal and then I'm gonna color that in and I might need to get some of the little kind of like the little follicles there and of course if you find yourself getting too much of anything you can kind of go in and you know delete or erase I'll just go back and brush that back and clean up later and then I'm going to hit go. So as you can see that did a, a wonderful job of removing that mold but you can kind of see some residual there. So the next thing we're going to do is go to quick repair. Now I can do blemish remover or I can do a quick brush. I'm going to do quick brush. And I'm just kind of going to go over that black spot. And as you can see, it kind of blends in with the uh, skin to look like it's natural. Now, you know, with the uh, blemish remover, I think with this one, you just pretty much just click. And so you see the little line that was in her face. It's now gone. Uh, some of this red spot, uh, not really removing that. But if you go to quick brush, it removes kind of like maybe some sunburn or something like that that she may have had and then you can go in and that was quick repair that I was in so I can stay in there if you want to do blemish remover you can go in and just click different little spots you know it removes you know acne things like that so like in this area up here and have them acne up in here now it's gone so that's if you want to remove blemishes you know from a picture so next what I'm gonna do is show you um, you know if you want to remove like a pole or something and line removal I'm gonna show you that next so the next picture I'm going to go to is gonna be uh, this one with a pole there say you had this and you were like man I don't want that pole there what you can do is do object removal now I will note that quick repairs for smaller objects like if you had like a little blob like that mole on that young lady quick repair is good for that as well object removal is good for things like this where you can come in here and I'm using a generic Apple pencil to help me kind of refine I'm not using my fingers with this and what I'll do is use the eraser to get some of the extra because I want to get as close to the pole as I can so that whenever it removes it it looks as authentic as possible as if it was removed so I'm gonna even go up here a little bit and you just have to kind of play with it and I think it has like your yeah, size so I can kind of lay low on the eraser that way I can kind of fine-tune even with my brush that way if I want to get up to that tip I can do that I was gonna bring that back to where it was kind of initially uh, let's erase a little bit here let me go down just a little bit more I wanna I'm a perfectionist when it comes to this stuff I, oops I want to get <laughs> as much down to detail because you want the picture to look as authentic as possible without looking as if you took something out and, um, and it's okay to leave a little bit in there you're not going to be perfect with that so next one I'm going to do let me put my size back in case I go to my next one 
and I'm going to hit go. And so it's processing and then it's gone. So as you can see in the middle part of the picture, you have some, you know, looks like you have a lot of things. Um, distortion is what I'm going to call it. So what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to try this, is let's do blemish remover and see what that does. Not much of anything. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to do a quick brush, and I'm just going to get rid of them, people that are there. And so now that I have them out of the way, you still see their shadow here. So I'm going to remove the shadow. Okay. And this will be a good segue into the clone feature. Now the clone feature, you have to be a little um, careful with this. Now as you see this little kind of like a scope from a gun, you want to be able, before you start cloning anything, you need to click um, I guess the place which you want to replicate so and so I'm gonna click there but then I'm gonna just start brushing like this it's kinda tough a little bit at first so I'm gonna do that okay let's see if it's gonna fill in maybe I need to go another route let's go here so I'm there and then ah. Oh. So what you have to do, especially if you're using a pen, so as you see, I'm, I'm filling in these lines. So the first thing you'll need to do, and as you can see, I'm getting some of the things from um, you know, the rays there. So I'm going to erase that a little bit. So running that back, you hit the clone, and wherever you want to replicate. So I want to replicate this. And then once you select that, you start drawing over the area that you want to clone. See? It's going to kind of start cloning. And I'm going to give you a better illustration of that, but I want to show you that. Now, I want to remove some of these lines that I have here. So I'm going to, I want to remove that. So I can remove some of this to clean up like the little green spots that are there. So as you can see, it's taking that out of there. And I remove that thing. And if you want to just remove some of these lines or something like that, you can do that as well. I think segment remover, it may let you kind of do more than, you know, one area or something like that. I typically just use line remover. So like that. And it, it kind of snaps on its own. And that's that. Those are some of the things you can do with that. So next, I'm going to try to replicate the um, clone feature a little better for you so that you can see a real example now I take I took this picture from their tutorial uh, for a retouch because I think it was a great example of how to use the clone tool or the clone stamp and what you want to do here is hit clone stamp and this is the area I want to go here this is where I want my mirror to look I want this asphalt so I have my bullseye or scope there and then I'm gonna start drawing or stroking above that and as you can see it's disappearing in case I didn't want that car there and this is not hopefully okay not too bad I didn't do too bad and there you go so that car that was there is no longer there and I can't remember if I press here okay I couldn't remember if there was a feature to do it before and after but uh, that's that that's how you use the clone feature so I've shown you object removal, quick repair if you want to do blemish removal, you know, for your touch-ups on portrait shots. The retouch app for iPad and iPhone is ideal for that. I like to use it for instances like this where um, I am doing, um, you know, photo manipulation and things like that where I need to remove an object uh, to accomplish that. So if you've used this app before, uh, let me know. This app does cost, I think I got it on sale when it was a like maybe a dollar ninety nine, two ninety nine or something like that because I actually use these apps to create but I don't usually spend money on apps unless I have to if it's an investment to you know help me with my craft and so if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and like this video